Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is the Panasonic GM1, and this is the Olympus EPM1. Which one of these cameras do I like better? Let's do this! I have been shooting more and more recently with smaller camera setup for my street photography. After all, these are the smallest available cameras for my Crow Four Thirds system. Especially this Panasonic GM1, this is the smallest interchangeable lens camera out there. You can check out the dimensions and specifications. I enjoy using these two cameras a lot for my street photography because they are so compact, so light, so easy to carry around. I can just use a small bag or fit this into to my pockets and they both perform really well, very fast autofocus, I can nail critical moments and they deliver fantastic image quality, definitely more than enough for what I need to do and I have plenty of fun shooting with these cameras. However, I also acknowledge that it is not fair to compare these two cameras because these are targeted towards different audience. The Olympus Pen Mini EPM1 was designed for entry-level beginners. It was the budget-friendly and the lowest-level micro focus camera from Olympus, whereas the Panasonic GM1 was designed more on the premium side. It cost about almost twice as much as the EPM1 during launch, and the camera itself is also about two years apart. It was launched in 2013 when the Olympus EPM1 was launched in 2011. There is the gap in terms of technology update and imaging capabilities. I know if we keep going on about the differences, there really is no point to compare, but I want to do the comparison anyway because, hey, I think it is fun. I'm not gonna lie, the main reason I got this Panasonic Lumix GM1 in the first place was because this is the smallest interchangeable lens camera and I want to own one. After all, this embodies what Micro Four Thirds should stand for. Something that is so small, so compact, and yet I can mount any of my Micro Four Thirds lenses on it and still achieve excellent results. I really love this Panasonic GM1 that is no secret if you follow any of my videos previously. I love that this camera is so well built. The body is made of metal construction. That is something that is an advantage on this GM1 versus the EPM1 which is made of plastic. Not only that, I love the touch screen on this Panasonic GM1. You have multi-touch and the touch operation is just so much smoother and more efficient. That's something that I wish Olympus has updated in a lot of their recent cameras. Now this Panasonic GM1 also has a newer image sensor. It has a 16 megapixel image sensor which gives better dynamic range, better high eyes or a better resolution of course versus the dated 12 megapixel image sensor in the Olympus EPM1. And in terms of overall image quality, I just love this Panasonic GM1 a little bit better. And I also like that this GM1 has a few features in the camera, like silent shutter, which is very useful when I shoot on the streets, whereas the EPM1 does have loud shutter mechanism. And sometimes you just need to be completely silent in where you're shooting street photography, right? There are smaller things about the cameras that I like. For example, the mode dial, which is absent on the EPM1, but you have it on the GM1 and it's, it helps me to change settings quicker. And overall, the GM1 is a very capable camera and I'll use it very frequently for my street photography.
There are some things that I really like about this Olympus Pen Mini EPM1 versus the Panasonic GM1. First of all, because of the slightly larger build on this camera body, handling is so much better than the GM1. There's just so much more area for the hands to grip. And then there is that thumb hook at the back of the camera with rubberized texture, and this allows for more secure gripping. Overall, handling is just so much better. I feel so much more secure using this EPM1 versus the GM1. Secondly, I really like the faster autofocus on this EPM1. The autofocus just feels slightly snappier. I know that the GM1 is not poor in autofocus, it is still fast and reliable. Like I said, I can use any of these cameras for street photography, nailing critical moments, no issue whatsoever. It just feels slightly faster on this EPM1 and slightly more confident. I also treasure the longer battery life on this Olympus EPM1. Just look at the size of the batteries. In estimate, I think the batteries on this EPM1 last about twice as long as the GM1. I find myself having to switch batteries on the GM1 a lot more frequently. And the e EPM1 also allows you to attach an external viewfinder in case you're shooting on the streets under bright sun, especially here in Malaysia, and there's no such option available on the GM1. The EPM1 also comes with a built-in image stabilization in body. This benefits a lot of lenses that does not have image stabilization. Unfortunately, the image stabilization in my EPM1 is already broken. It doesn't function anymore. After all, this is an old camera. I got it in the used market. It doesn't really matter. I'm shooting under plenty of bright sunlight, so I can use very fast shutter speed. But hey, when it was launched, that image stabilization was also also an added advantage. I am aware that this comparison is not complete if we don't bring in the successors, the Panasonic GM5 and the Olympus EPM2. These two cameras have significant upgrades and improvements over their predecessors. However, this will overcomplicate things and make the comparison too messy. I just want to keep things simple and clean. Both cameras, the GM1 and the EPM1, they are my favorites. I use them a lot for travel, everyday shoots, for street photography. I have so much fun shooting with any of these two cameras. So it all comes down to this particular question. Which one of these two cameras, if I have to pick, is my favorite? Which one do I prefer to shoot with? One or the other? There is no easy answer to that. Logically, if I were to look at things from the practical point of view, it will be the EPM1 because it has better handling. I'm more comfortable using the camera on my hands. It has slightly faster autofocus. I'm more confident in nailing the shot. And in terms of image quality, it is sufficient. It's more than good enough. I get fantastic results with it. However, the camera that I actually brought with me a lot more frequently it's the Panasonic GM1. I have no logical explanation for that. Yes, the image quality is better. It's, it has a newer 16 megapixel image sensor, but the form factor is just too small for comfortable handling. And I don't know, overall, it doesn't seem like a favorite material if I were to compare with the Olympus Pen Mini, but I still prefer to shoot with the Panasonic anyway. And I don't think I have to explain myself. I'm just here to tell you what my heart says, and my heart chooses the Panasonic GM1, which I've been shooting with more frequently. That's all I have to share about this Panasonic GM1 versus the Olympus Pen Mini, the EPM1. Which one of them is my favorite? You know the answer already. If you found my sharing beneficial, or if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee, or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long 
one way will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.